In the previous video, we learned how to add footers to our React table. In this video, we are going to focus on the header section again. More specifically, we are going to learn how to group headers with React table. At the moment, we have six columns in our basic table. They all are separate individual columns. Sometimes though, you might have a requirement where you need to group together few of the columns under a common heading. Achieving that with React table is really simple and it boils down to how you define your columns property. So back in VS Code, in our columns.js file, you can see that columns is a flat array of objects. Let's change this such that some of the columns are grouped together. Let ID be on its own, but let's group together first name and last name columns under a header group called name. Similarly, let's group the rest of the columns under a header group called info. For grouping, I'm going to create a new constant. So export const grouped columns is equal to an empty array. Now we are going to have only three header groups. So let me add three objects. The first header group is for the ID column. This is exactly what we have from before. So copy the ID column object and paste it. Now for our second header group. This header group is going to have a label called name. So add header as name and then footer as name as well. This header group groups together first name and last name. To group columns under this heading, we use the columns property. So instead of accessor like before, we use columns. And this is an array of objects where each object represents a column. We need two columns, first name and last name. We can copy and paste them from the array defined above. So copy these two objects and paste it within the columns array. So that is our name header group. Similarly, let's define the info header group. Header is going to be info. Footer is going to be info again. We have the columns property, which is an array of objects. And this header group has three columns. So let's copy date of birth, country, and phone objects into the columns array. Save the file. And finally, in basic table.js, import grouped columns from the columns file and pass it into the use memo hook. If you now take a look at the browser, you can see that the table header looks different. We have three groups in total. The first is the individual ID column. It doesn't have a label for the header group itself. The second group, however, is labeled name and groups together first name and last name. Similarly, we have the info header group, which groups together date of birth, country and phone. If you go back to the JSX, in the T-head section, you can see that we have header groups. This is what gives us access to the header groups that we have just defined. Hopefully now, the JSX as well makes much more sense to you. So that is how you can group together different columns. It's all in the columns array. Now for the rest of the series, we don't require any header groups. So in basic table, I'm going to revert grouped columns back to just columns.
All right then, starting next video, let's take a look at the more important features like sorting, filtering, and pagination. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and see you guys in the next video.